hello everyone and welcome back to our channel so today in this video let's discuss about coupons and promotion programs in odo 14 community so these promotion programs or coupon uh, programs are used as a marketing tool to attract customers to our company so it is used in sales to enhance the worth of purchase so they are short term uh, incentives and it drives the customers towards the company's products and services for example uh, prices uh, that is free products coupons discounts uh, rebates etc so along with the purchase uh, these rewards are given to customers so this kind of promotional program will ensure introducing new products to the customers and profitability of the sales okay so after installing the sales module uh, this coupons and promotion will be automatically uh, installed. So you can just open sales module. Okay. So here under products you can find promotion programs and coupon programs. Okay. So here we have uh, we already have some pre-configured programs that is code for 10 percentage discount on orders, then uh, providing that is a free gift when purchasing uh, some products. Okay, so let me open uh, one program and show you. So here we can see promotion name uh, that is it is identify the promotion program. So this one is a code for 10 percentage on orders. Then we can uh, set some condition based on customers and products. So um, here we can uh, edit the domain that is add filtration on customers. So we can add filtration like if you want if uh, customers from country United States make purchase so customers from this country only uh, is given the reward that is these customers only will get the promotion program okay then we can also set condition based on products so here certain conditions are set and those products under this criteria have the promotion program so on the purchase of these products some rewards will be given to customers and okay so by default it is set as products that can be sold so you can see there are 137 records then we can also see, also set the minimum quantity um, uh, to be purchased so here if a customer purchases minimum one quantity then uh, the promotion program can be given then we can also set minimum purchase uh, that is minimum purchase amount with tax excluded or tax included Okay, and we can generate a promotion program code, promo code usage. So it can be automatically applied or we can provide a code here. So uh, at the time of uh, purchasing, we uh, the customer have to provide this code. Okay, then we can set the company. And here we can set the validity of this promotion program. So this promotion program will be given uh, to can be given to a particular website when uh, that is purchasing from a website. So this will be published on that website only. Then here we can specify uh, whether for how many orders this promotion program is applicable. So here we can set the number of orders, then we can set the uh, validity period that is start date and end date of this promotion program. Then we can set some details related to rewards, that is the applicability of this uh, promotion program. So rewards can be uh, applied on current order or we can send a coupon. 
so that we can apply our next order. So it will generate a coupon for the next order. If the applicability chosen is as apply on that is send a coupon. Okay, then here we can provide a reward as discount. So here we can see we already set a reward line product that is 10 percentage discount on total amount. Okay, then we can also give free product. So when you choose that here we can provide add that free product. Then it is also possible to provide free shipping for the customer. So shipping charge will be free. Okay, so for this I am setting discount. So you can see we can when you select discount we can apply discount as percentage or fixed amount. So here I have set 10 percentage of the total amount that is products amount. And we can apply this discount on order or on a cheapest product or on specific product. So you can select those products here. Okay. Then it is also possible to set a maximum discount amount. So this uh, the discount will not be given above this amount okay so here we can set a mass maximum discount as 500 so 10 percent discount is given for uh, customers okay now we can save this So as we have given that the reward app applicability is by sending a coupon and not on the current order. Okay, so a coupon will be generated when you are say creating a sale order and applying this promotion. Okay, so, okay, so let me change this uh, applicability to apply on current order. Okay, now after saving the promotion program, let's create a sale order. Okay, so select a customer and make sure the customer's country is United States because we have set a condition inside the promotion program that only customers from uh, United States country can get this promotion program. Okay, so it is United States. Now, after adding other details like address, quotation template, expiration date and payment terms, here we can add the product. Products. So, let me select the product that can be sold that is traveling with toes. And can set, set the quantity. Then here we have to set the unit price with a minimum amount 100. So I am setting 600 because we have set the condition that purchase need to be done with a minimum price that is 100. Okay. So after adding the products, you can just click on this promotion. So you can find that option coupons and promotions below along with the shipping methods adding shipping methods so here just click on this promotion okay so here we can see an additional product is added that is discount 10 percentage on total amount is added here so uh, discount is applied according to the condition set on the promotion program so you can save this or confirm this quotation So this is how the promotion program is applied. Then uh, here we have coupon programs. So order coupons are used to generate limited discounts. So coupon is a one-time use code that will generate a discount for the customers or free products. So you can uh, create, generate multiple coupons and customers can use that coupon to get rewards. So here we have already a coupon program that is 10 percent discount. So when you open this, uh, here we can set the condition based on products. So here you can see uh, it is filtered by products that can be sold. And we can also change this. We can edit this if you want uh, to apply this coupon program only for a particular product. So here um, you can edit this and edit the domain. So we can set... Uh, product that contains large disk 
Okay, so you can see there is only one record. So this uh, coupon program can be applied uh, on a product large disk. And here we can set the minimum quantity of purchase. So when the customer purchases at least this uh, one, this coupon can be applied. Okay. Then here we can set the minimum purchase of minimum purchase amount. Okay, six hundred uh, for tax included or excluded. Then we can set the validity, and it can be uh, that is we can restrict this product to available on a particular website. So I'm making it available on all website. Then we can set the val validity duration. Okay. Then here we can set reward as free product, free shipping, or discount. So I'm setting ten percent discount on order. Then we can set maximum discount amount. Okay. So let me save this. And here we can find an option to generate coupon. So when you click on this, you can find option to limit the number of coupons or the number of customers, selected customers. So I'm going to generate number of coupons that is twenty. Then we can also set filtration that is on customers. That is we can give this coupon to some customers. So we can add filtration here. So I'm generating twenty coupons. So just click on generate, and here we can see twenty coupons are generated. Okay, so you can see all the twenty coupons are valid now. Right now, so when you click on this, you can just copy this code and make use. Uh, that is, you can use it for your purchase. Customers can make use of this code to get reward, and you can see the expiration date of the coupon. And it is also possible to send this coupon by email. And here we can see the state of the coupon is valid. So if it is sent, you can see uh, that it is sent. So you can send this to a customer. And here we can also see whether that. Coupon is consumed. That is whether it is used. So if it is used, then it will be moved to used state. And if the coupon is expired, then it will be moved to expired state. Okay. Now so now let's uh, just open one coupon. So here we have first coupon. Let me copy this one. Okay. And if you have given this coupon to a customer, then here we can you can see the customer name. That is uh, uh, the customer name. And if it is used. In an order, in a sale order, that also can be seen here. Right now, it is not used by, not given for any customer. So I'm copying this one and let's go to sale order and create a new order. Okay, so here we have to set uh, the product large desk because this coupon can. Only be used by this product uh, customers buying this product. So here we don't have enough on hand. So let me make some inventory adjustment. Can see unit price is thousand seven hundred ninety nine. Now, okay, here below you can see an option to apply the coupon. So just click on that and provide the code here. Just remove the space and click on apply. So when you click on apply, you can see that um, reward is given to the customer. That is same. Ten percent discount set on the coupon program. Okay, so this is how we make use of coupon. Now let's confirm the sale order and deliver the product to customer. Okay, so can then deliver the product to customer from here. And then we can create invoice. Okay, so when you create invoice, you can see 
the total amount amount is thousand six nineteen point one zero because after applying the ten percent discount. Okay, so from here customer can confirm and make the payment. Now, when you go to coupon programs and here when you look for the coupons, look the coupons, you can see one coupon is used because we have used this coupon for the sale order. That is, you can see the reference here. Okay. Then so now when you try to use this code again. uh it will be invalid because it is already used now let's copy the second one now let's go to website and purchase the product large desk adding the card and here we can find a field where we can add the um, promo code or coupon code so here we can paste that and apply so when you apply that here we can see the 10 percentage discount on total amount is added here okay now customers can process checkout and make the payment so you can see you have successfully applied the following promotion code that is our coupon code okay so now we can make the payment okay so this is how we make use of this code promotional coupon code from website that is prendin now when you go to a uh, sales okay so here we can see that coupon is used and can see sale order reference here so that's how we make use of coupon programs so that's all about coupons and promotion programs in order 14 community and if you have any doubts regarding this video please add your comments below